I'm ready to steal my man's heart back. And then uh, the new girls the new came girls. in. I was like, they all came in pretty strongly too. Yeah, it was a little too cocky. These girls just kind of swoop in. So yeah, it, it did feel like a slap in the face. It was annoying that Michelle was just still getting that time. Yeah. She was like, you know, I'm gonna use this time to see if I like Matt. And I was like, you're getting a whole day to figure out if you like Matt when girls have now decided they like Matt and know they like Matt. Don't come in here and tell me you deserve the one-on-one -on -one because you do not know. And don't tell me oh, yeah. you get what it's like because you don't get it. Yeah, that's just another the thing of them just being ignorant. I feel like I get it, we're entitled to our feelings, but at the end of the day, they live with us, and I would hate to be on their side of this. And so the continuous, like, digs, at some point we gotta kinda get over it and welcome them into the house a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I totally, I know what you mean. <laughs> I just love us, that's all. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it's all the varsity squad here tonight, and I really appreciate that. The environment here hasn't been the best, especially for the new girls. And I've tried my best to stand up, you know, being the devil's advocate when things are being discussed and it just isn't really working. But Matt, he doesn't know anything about it. And I think he'd be pretty shocked to hear the things that they're saying. And I'm gonna let him know. Can I borrow you for a second? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to make this like part of your night, but it would probably be a good time to address some of the bullying that's kind of been happening in the house. And it's, it's hard for me to keep trying to stand up for these women when we have this like mob mentality. Well, I will admit in this room <laughs> that like I was not the most respectful person to them. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes that are not the nicest. The house just needs to be better. It's just a toxic environment. And there's some pretty bad rumors that are starting about the new girls that literally could ruin their lives. Not even exaggerating. Territory is territory. You don't want people coming in and disrupting that. And that sounds very warlike, but it's just kind of like who yeah. I am. So I just figured tomorrow everyone's together in one room. You could address it. And coming from you, I think it would just mean a lot more to them. I hear it, and that's okay. something that I'll never stand for, and I'm going to address tomorrow. Yeah. When Katie mentioned that the bullying rumors could potentially ruin this woman's life, I had to take a step back, because for me, it's bigger. Now it's bigger than our relationship. It's it's their family, it's their career, and I don't want that for anybody. Sorry to bring it up. No, no, you know, thank you. Not take too much time. No, that's important. I need to have these conversations. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Who's spreading these rumors? and why. And the fact that somebody in the house thinks that they're gonna be able to bully their way to my heart, that's not how it works. It's not something that I want to be a part of this journey and I, I need to get to the bottom of it. So better believe I'm gonna bring it up.